what is the best dream that you've had up until now if you can recall it yes i can recall one i say i don't know uh, what has happened but uh, i was co- called for a award uh, it was a award ceremony and someone was giving me the award and they called my name so i had to go there and uh, it was a very pleasant dream i had so i hello hello hi good morning ananya hi good morning tanuja how are you doing i am doing okay. great thank you for asking what about you i am perfect as well so um since we are meeting for the first time we should introduce ourselves right can you please go ahead and introduce yourself to me yeah definitely yeah. as you know my name is anuja and i am from bhopal i am a working professional in it sector okay and there may be something else about your family interests and hobbies and why did you join clapping uh, yes so my hobbies are i like to do drawing and dancing and uh, i join clapping go definitely improve my english because in uh, my field i have to talk in english uh, and sometimes i feel stuck or i can say i don't get the confidence while speaking so that thing i have to improve okay. all right so did you go through the session document for today yes yes yeah it's it's about dreams right so yes. tell me are you a vivid dreamer are you a regular vivid dreamer uh no sometimes i don't say that i frequently dream or every day but yeah sometimes i get to hmm. okay so do you remember your dreams uh don't usually i remember but <laughs> yeah sometimes i can recall okay. but not uh, the whole dream i can say but a yeah, little part of the dream i can remember so what is the best dream that you've had up until now if you can recall it um uh, yes i can recall one i say i don't know uh, what has happened but uh, i was co- called for a award uh, it was a award ceremony and someone was giving me the award and they called my name so i had to go there and uh, it was a very pleasant dream i had so i still remember that uh, and uh, i was trying to recall everything but yeah i remember just little part of the dream that uh, i was uh, getting the award for something so do you generally have pleasant dreams or do you get nightmares uh generally i get a uh, pleasant dream but uh, yeah whenever i i have to go somewhere or i can say i have to give any exam so because of the anxiety sometime i get the uh, dream like uh, i am getting late for the event or something this kind of uh, dream i had okay so can you tell me about the latest dream the most recent dream that you have had uh the latest one i can recall that uh, it was a night mayor actually so was some nice. ghost were there and <laughs> they were trying to travel me so yeah that that was my recent dream so have you ever had a dream that was so emotionally overwhelming that you were woken up due to it uh yeah when, whenever i uh, see any kind of dream like uh, that uh, trouble me a lot because of the i can say the nightmare dream i whenever i have this kind of dream then uh, suddenly i i wake up and uh, i try to uh, maintain myself so have you ever wanted to go back to sleep to you know complete a dream <laughs> yes yes definitely yeah whenever i see any kind of uh, good dream so i try to uh, sleep again and try to complete those dreams so yes. definitely i and uh, in the morning i try to recall all the all the dream i had uh, because uh, you know uh, whenever we see any kind of uh, good dreams then definitely i think like that i should uh, i should talk with someone else that i had that kind of dream so i share with my friends and also family members whenever i get a pleasant dream so i try to recall everything but yeah sometime i can recall only <laughs> two or three things and not a whole dream okay yeah. understood and so has there been any dream that you have had repeatedly like some dreams they are recurrent right So have you ever had a recurrent dream? Uh no, I can't recall. 
you can it happened or not uh, i don't know okay so one recurrent dream that i keep having is that i am stuck in a very small place and i can't get out i so, think the, it's a kind of dream that everyone have i think yeah. i yes. i had also this kind of dream yes i was like really suffocated in my dream <laughs> and it was very dark and i was trying to get out but i couldn't yes yeah yeah okay so have do you, whenever you had you have like good dreams or bad right despite of their nature so do you share your dreams with somebody yes i definitely share with my family especially whenever i see any good dream and uh, the something that is very different uh, and i haven't uh, even i haven't had that kind of dream before so definitely i share with my family members so i ask them that what is the meaning of uh, watching this kind of dreams so uh, i definitely ask with them there is another dream that i keep having uh, you know repeatedly is that my all of my teeth have fallen out oh <laughs> yeah yeah and and all of them together they fallen out yes okay. so have you ever had any such dream that made no sense to you like very random or very bizarre uh no i don't remember this kind of dream mm. and uh, the other But one is you that you know uh, uh, whenever i have any any exam or uh, Hmm. and even that i have to go in the morning so definitely because of anxiety i can say that uh, i feel nervous or uh, i had dream like uh, i am getting late for the exam or i i i forgot the center that where i have to go and i <laughs> i went to another center for my exam so i i see this kind of dream <laughs> even yeah, these type of dreams they are not uncommon so even till date you know after i've completed my schooling and i've graduated i i get nightmares about my mathematics exam or uh, okay. social science exam that uh, uh, i've come to school and uh, suddenly they have this exam and i can't remember or recall anything and i don't know anything and okay. that i went to school like uh, barefoot i wasn't wearing any shoes <laughs> okay please yes and uh, sometimes i saw the uh, exam paper in my dreams already i saw that uh, uh, this kind of uh, paper i have to write <laughs> so i already uh, I, i already see that kind of dream that uh, already so, i saw the paper okay so has any one of your dream actually ever come true mm, i don't remember it many times in my case Okay. my can you share any yeah uh, so uh, i can usually tell my score exam score mm -hmm. before i actually get the result so and it's whatever i dream it's always very near to that it has been mm -hmm. happening for a very very long time yeah especially during exams or especially whenever uh, you know there's there is to be some sort of problem in any relationship that i have with my friend or with anybody right mm -hmm. i i get a dream that something is going to happen and uh, it usually does end up happening oh that's great yes right so so you uh, already know that what would happen next <laughs> yeah i i get get an idea i i can just sense that something wrong is about to happen okay so, can you like also describe to me a dream scene for, from a movie a dream sequence from a movie can you do that about movies no yeah. i whenever i see any serial uh, tv serial then definitely i uh, already i feel like that what would happen next and i already uh, have that kind of dream that what would happen next in the in any serial so mm -hmm. yeah it happens sometimes and we already know that what would happen next or i think i can say that uh, whatever we have in my in our mind that uh, we want to uh, have this kind of thing should happen in the serial or movies so we see this kind of thing 
exactly exactly and have you ever heard about uh, the term deja vu uh, yes deja vu the, the feeling that it has already happened right so mm, yeah it happens whenever we mm-hmm. have you ever experienced deja vu yeah it happens sometime i don't know uh, where i face this or where i feel this but uh, yeah in many cases whenever i go somewhere i feel like that no i think this place i already visited or something or i have seen somewhere else uh, mm-hmm. i can recall that yeah so yeah i think that is deja vu that the feeling that you have experienced whatever is happening to you at the moment you have experienced mm-hmm. it before yes sir. i think sometimes you're walking down the stair or stairs or sometimes you look at two people conversing and you can just feel it that you've experienced it happened before yes yes it happened yes okay so oh. can i ask about yourself uh, yeah so i usually do not uh, introduce myself because it takes away from the session's time and uh, <laughs> your introductions are important not mine and also because of the fact that my introduction is already you know in the in my bio the readers can always go to that page and mm-hmm. but yeah if anybody insists i give a very nice introduction <laughs> so okay. i am 20 years old and uh, i just completed my graduation from delhi university jesus and mary college in uh, english honors with a minor in psychology and uh, right now i am in my hometown waiting for my cuet exam results that will decide the course of my life for the next 2 3 years okay that's great so you are younger than me yes yes i'm younger than most of the people who teach here and who come and learn here mm mm-hmm. okay. and i'm looking forward to do my masters in psychology i graduated in english but i want to do my masters in psychology oh mm-hmm. let's see great. what the result is like mm mm-hmm. yeah right so uh, feedback time before the session gets over okay so tanuja i think that you're a good speaker and uh, but the only thing that i noticed that is that uh, you take certain you know non required breaks between sentences that right? your mm-hmm. speech does not come across as very cohesive right Lo- like it's not being spoken together you're speaking in little pieces it seems mm-hmm. like that but i think it will go away as and when you practice the more you practice the better it will be and i are you fond of reading at all uh, i was not before but yeah recently i started reading you started reading uh, do not let go of that habit reading is the most important thing that will help you you know collect your thoughts in your head very nicely and then be able to articulate it well so reading is the most important part and mm-hmm. listen to podcasts on youtube or on prime anywhere spotify and uh, you know slowly you'll realize that uh, you have a long way to go and you know how you know where which areas you could work at if, if you listen to those seasoned speakers you know interact with people you'll realize ki oh this is missing from my uh, end i can be like him or her or i can do this to improve this or become like this yeah so you yeah, do you right. you as much media in english as you can so that's the only way right so only speaking here won't do i'll be very honest with you you have to read and put in a lot of effort by yourself besides typing yeah definitely and i will work on that yes right so anything else uh no any other suggestion you want to give uh no if you want book recommendations i can give you certain book recommendations right okay. so um i usually suggest ruskin bond and sudha murthy have you heard of them mm-hmm. yeah. so they write in the indian context very simple and they are also very funny so it won't get a very you know it won't get very boring for you right okay mm-hmm. and uh, sudha murthy and if you're very keen on you know reading about grammar or learning about grammar you can refer to renan martin It's available. All of these books they be available on Amazon or Flipkart. Okay, very much. Must be. Okay, so yeah, I'll be leaving for me also on the app. 
so that uh, I too can become a better tutor. Do thing to me on the uh, Clapping Go app. That'll mean a lot, yes. right? Okay. Thank you, Tanaja. It was really nice speaking with you, and I hope to catch up with you later again. Right? Yeah, definitely. Thank All you. Right. Thanks. Bye bye.